It's the very first food truck festival, and it's being held this weekend in Myrtle Beach. It's a great idea. I support this so mm -hmm. much. ABC 15's Amanda Kenseth is live this morning in Horry County, checking out a couple of local food trucks that will be at the event. Lucky you. Good morning, Amanda. <laughs> Good morning, that's right. Yes, we are in a food truck, making some food, getting ready for this weekend. And now talk about, you know, being in a food truck, first of all, and how you got started in this. Well, I've worked in the food industry my whole life. So about five years ago, I bought a food truck. And long story short, the laws weren't feasible. So I got rid of that food truck. <laughs> and then now that we have passed the laws and going further, it took me a year and a half to build out my truck. But today, we are open. Woohoo! Curbside catering, right? Yes, ma'am. All right. And so this morning, we are making cheesecake. We're going to make a cheesesteak, and we are going to make a curbside shrimp, which is our signature dish. Okay. Well, Cameraman Keith is standing curbside. So does that sound good to you to eat? Yes, absolutely. Okay, so let's Sounds get started. Good. All what right, do give we me do? one second. Okay. It's really small up in here. Yeah. So. <laughs> so, what are some of the different things that you? I didn't hear you. What are some of the different things that you make? You well, know? Being a catering company, I try to make a lot of different items, but right now for this festival, we're only allowed to do six items. So I am actually going to uh, do cheesesteaks, curbside shrimp, uh, shrimp fillies. I'm also going to do curbside fries. They are my signature curbside sauce. And after that, we will do different stuff daily. I will get into burgers. Eventually, we will be a farm-to-table food truck. All our food will come from South Carolina. Very nice. So while those fry up, I am going to put a little bit of lettuce in the bottom of here. All right. Make it look pretty, you know? Yeah. Some well, spring lettuce. We've got some good food truck breakfast this morning, guys. Uh, I like that. He said keeping it local, you know. Yeah, farm to table. And, yeah, and local by putting that food in my mouth. Uh, agreed. We need to go uh, try out all of those food trucks. The fest is happening Saturday, 11 to 7, at the Myrtle Beach Boardwalk at Burroughs and Chapin Pavilion Place. They'll have live entertainment as well, a cornhole tournament, and arts and crafts vendors. Sounds like fun. It is a celebration, a worthy celebration, mm -hmm. I'll add, of the delicious food being served across our area on food trucks. ABC 15's Amanda Kinseth is live this morning checking out two food trucks before the food truck festival in Myrtle Beach this weekend. Good morning. Tough job. Good morning. That's right. Yes, we've got the tough job of trying out these food trucks before the actual festival. Laura, what are we making? This is the best seller from my truck, and it is the Charleston. It's a Ooh. Charleston flatbread. All right. And um, we go through tons of these every day. So, um, yeah, hopefully you guys like it. I start with barbecue sauce, and then um, we put some just basic pulled pork. It's, it's, nothing, it's nothing fancy. It's just done plain. Um, it's okay, you we, can say this is the best pulled up. pork. It's my secret recipe. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's amazing. It's, you know, it's, it's good. It is a secret recipe. There's a couple of different things that you can't really see in it. It's some hidden ingredients, believe it or not. Ooh, hidden but, ingredients are always fun. Yeah. And now you are actually kind of the only... And the first food truck in the area, Charleston Flats, and uh, I've seen you driving around, you know, I got mm -hmm. excited because everybody loves food trucks, you yes, know? And so how has that been so far? It's great. Um, we need more of them, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, we need more. Food, food trucks are meant to be, like, in groups, and it makes it more fun because it's, like, it's really an attraction for people to come out and see, especially foodies. You know, they follow food trucks, and they have a, you know, it's just... People want them. So I grew up in a place where they're all over. I'm from New Jersey and uh, right. close to Manhattan. And there's food trucks everywhere. And they bring crowds of people. So uh, I'm excited. I'm really excited. Well, but there might be more here. There's definitely going to be some this weekend. So you can check it out and we'll let you know how this tastes when it's done. Guys? Uh, you better be sharing as well. Uh, right? You've already put your order in. <laughs> the Food Truck Festival is happening Saturday, 11 to 7 o'clock at the Myrtle Beach Boardwalk at Burroughs and Chapin F Pavilion Place. Hey, they'll also have live entertainment, a cornhole tournament, arts and craft vendors. Should be a lot of fun. The very first Food Truck Festival in Myrtle Beach is being held this weekend. Sounds like a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. ABC 15's Amanda Kenseth is live this morning in Horry County, getting an up-close taste, if you will, yeah. of the good food. Good morning.
Hi, good morning. That's right. Yes, I am testing out all the food for you before we actually get to the festival on Saturday. And let me tell you, oh my gosh, how delicious. Uh, Carrie Curbside Catering, I had your curbside shrimp earlier. So super delicious. I can't even explain it. And then what are you doing now? I'm shredding up some steak and grilling some onions and grilling the steak for a nice cheese steak for y'all. I like it. I like it. So you just got your food truck, though. It's pretty exciting. Talk about how you feel. Oh, I've been building it for a year and a half. I just got legal yesterday. Congratulations. Wow. Just in time, too, for the right? for the festival. <laughs> yeah, I'll be there for the festival. What is it about food trucks that makes the food so delicious? We cook from our heart. I didn't go to culinary school. I cook from my heart. I make what I like, and I sell it to the people, and I hope they enjoy it just as much as I do. Well, we uh, have enjoyed it so far this morning, and coming up at the festival, there's going to be a lot of stuff going on. There's going to be uh, food vendors, you know, food trucks, um, some stuff for the kids, and... It's, Cornhole tournament. Right. A beer garden. All right. Look at that right there. Looks and then I will be set up at uh, 3454 Waccamaw Boulevard in Tire Town Superstore. That'll be my daily spot if anybody would like to come out and check us out. Okay. All right. That's where we can swing by and find you. And this this looks good. I hope you enjoy it. I think I, think I will. Don't forget to share it with the cameraman. Uh, okay. I think I can do that too. Guys? I like it. He's got Keith's back. To the screen. Oh, I know food. The way to his heart. Let me mm -hmm. tell you what. The food truck festival is happening this Saturday, 11 to 7 o'clock at the Myrtle Beach Boardwalk at Burroughs and Chapin Pavilion Place. Yeah, you heard it there. They were talking about live entertainment, that cornhole tournament happening, as well as arts and crafts vendors. It is a celebration of mm -hmm. the delicious food being served across our area on food trucks. I love it. ABC 15's Amanda Kinsey is live this morning on two trucks before the food truck festival in Myrtle Beach. Good morning. Good morning, that's right. Yeah, we moved back over to the Charleston Flats truck. And I've actually seen you, Laura, driving around town. And I got so excited because I saw a pineapple on the outside. And then I got so excited because <laughs> I saw a pineapple on the inside. And then the Charleston, the flat I had, had pineapple and jalapeno. And how did you know those are like my two favorite things? You didn't even know that, did you? Well, it's a great combination. Uh, yeah. Uh, everybody should love it. Pineapple and jalapeno I, I agree, and they will after they try that, I'm <laughs> sure. And you've got something else that you're making for yeah. us, too. Um, I have a tomato tomato, which is my favorite flat. <laughs> tomato tomato. A tomato I like tomato, tomato. Yeah, I have... <laughs> my whole idea is, uh, is creative flatbreads. So I get creative with the names as well. Okay, very and I'll, cute. I'll finish that up, and it gets topped with uh, some fresh basil. And if you're from the north, you'd probably consider this like a margarita pizza. It's not a fancy drink. But um, <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, it's one of my favorite because it's like really fresh and it's That's just good. I'm sure it's tastes like delicious home. as tastes the like first home. one. Now talk about this is kind of a dream of yours. You've got the food truck and talk about what food trucks bring to a community because they're kind of new for this area. You know, back up right. north and stuff, they're all over the place. But for mm -hmm. here, it's kind of new. Yeah, it's new here and um, and it 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 brings. I want to say foodies. It brings foodies to the area um, because you get really good food from food trucks, and they usually specialize in you know a few different items. And um, so the variety, you know, you, you can go food truck hopping, and um, people just travel, believe it or not, like the country, just going to different cities to go to food truck festivals. Huh. So it does bring air, you know, areas, and they actually have cookbooks on that too, and it'll be like mapped out. Of you know, like where you can find like I like the it. cool food trucks. Well, in. after trying the food this morning, between um, you know you two, I'm gonna map out where you are for lunchtime. Yeah, time. that'd be great, guys. If I were to ever steal a vehicle, which I wouldn't, uh -huh. I would steal a food truck. That's smart, actually. Uh, the food truck festival is happening this Saturday, 11 to 7 o'clock. If you want to go check it out, it's at the Myrtle Beach Boardwalk at Burroughs and Chapin Pavilion Place. And they'll have live entertainment as well, a cornhole tournament, arts and crafts vendors, so go check it out. 